How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to this beginner Hellwer solo guide. Now I wanted to quickly say I know a lot of people were wanting me to make an Iron Man guide for Hellwer. The reason this isn't titled an Iron Man guide is because to me an Iron Man guide is something that you can do with a tier 75 greater runic staff really effectively. And honestly like you can get kills with a greater runic staff no problem, but you're way better off not using the greater runic staff for a couple reasons that I'll get into a little bit later on. So yeah, anyway, that's why it's not titled an Iron Man guide, but this guide will cover all of the strategies every single attack attack every single rotation and then how I would personally recommend you kill it. So yeah, let's jump right into it. All right, first and foremost, we're gonna talk about requirements. First thing you're gonna need is 43 prayer for the protect from melee prayer. Next up, you're gonna need 80 magic. You need 80 magic as a base requirement to enter Hellwer's encampment. Next off, I'd like you to have a few million GP to buy gear. Now, although those are the only requirements for this guide, here are the things that I recommend that'll help your kills quite a bit. First off, 70 prayer for the piety variants. Obviously, if you've got 95 prayer and curses, that works too. But uh, as a recommendation, I recommend you have at least 70 prayer. Next up, 52 plus summoning. That's just really good to have for a beast of burden, carry some more food, it equals longer trips. Now, the next recommendation is level 70 defense. Now, because it requires level 80 magic in general just to enter the Hellward boss fight, most people will have this. But if you don't, I'd strongly advise you get it because it will definitely help. I'll talk a little bit more about the different combat styles a little later on, but I'd also recommend you have 80 plus attack if you want to use melee combat. Okay, now it's time for a little information about the boss. Hellwer is level 1000 in combat and has 200,000 life points. The max hit is 1224 with a regular attack, although he can hit over 4000 with a special attack. Hellwer does not use poison and is also weak to nothing. Now, even though Hellwer has no weakness, Hellwer only attacks with melee, so I would not recommend using ranged. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to get there. There are two main ways to get there. If you've done the Tales of the God Wars mini quest, best way to get to God Wars 2 is just to break a heart teleport tablet. If you cannot do this, you're gonna have to run southeast from the bandit camp lodestone as I do right here. Now, once you enter the heart, run southeast and you'll find the Saren encampment. Now you also need 40 kill count in order to fight Hellwer. You can kill any of Hellwer's chosen to get this kill count up, and it is important to know that you can bank with this kill count, and when you come back to the heart, you will still have it. So you can get your kill count, bank, restock on supplies, and then go back and fight the boss. All right, now we're gonna talk about gear and invent setup. It's actually really easy. You go by a simple rule of thumb, which is use the best stuff you can. Use the best main hand weapon you can, use the best armor you can that's in the right combat style, of course, and also use the highest tier defender or shield you can in the correct combat style. It is important for this boss to carry either a defender or a shield. I will get into it later when I talk about all the specific mechanics. Following that same rule of thumb, you want to use the best stat boosting potions you can. If you do not have any untradeable potions, that would be the grand potions. And other than that, you also want to use the best stat boosting prayers you can. Now, I'd strongly recommend using melee combat for this boss because of the long attack range of halberds. Obviously, you can use mage and range as well, but I'd strongly recommend melee. It will go a lot smoother, but not to worry. We'll get into that a little bit later in this video. This is the gear I'm going to be using for the actual making of this video. I'm wearing full bandos, I've got a skill cape that you could easily sub out for an obsidian cape, I've got a Ceredomans Whisper, I've got a Vampirism Aura that you could also swap for a Brawler Aura, and I've also got a Sign of Life, which is very important. My main hand weapon is a Blade of Nymora because it's a tier 85 weapon with tier 90 accuracy and tier 80 damage that only costs around 1.6 mil. Now, you'll see in my offhand that I've got a Corrupted Defender, you could also sub this out for a Bandos War Shield if you do not have the Defenders. Now, the last noteworthy thing in my invent is the Rune Halberd, and you might be thinking, what the hell, Ryan? You're not gonna tell me that you can go kill Hellwer with a rune halberd. Well, does it have to be a rune halberd? No, it could be any halberd or any weapon that has the larger attack range. So this could be a dragon halberd, a crystal halberd, a noxious scythe, a dragon rider lance, any of those weapons would work, but the base requirement would be a rune halberd that actually has no requirements other than level 50 attack. Now, that being said, even though it could be any of those other weapons, it is a rune halberd, and that is actually more than good enough to get yourself some Hellwer kills. So anyway, let's get right into it. Okay, before we get into the actual boss fight, we're gonna talk about the abilities that you're gonna wanna make sure you have on your action bars. So first off, there are five main defensive abilities that you're gonna be rotating through. First off, you've got Resonance. Second off, you've got Debilitate. Third, you've got Reflect. Fourth, you've got Revenge. And then fifth up here, you have Devotion. If you do not have this, it's not the end of the world, but if you have it, definitely make sure to be using it. Now, there are three important 2H abilities for when you're wielding your Halberd. The first one is Quake. The second one is Hurricane, and the third one, which you won't always need, is Cleave. So those are the other three main important abilities. Now, if you do not want to use melee combat, you want to use ranged or magic, use the exact same rule of thumb, bring the best gear you have, and the same defensive abilities will be useful. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the mechanics. 
However, has four different mechanics, and if you can counter them all properly, you can absolutely master this boss. There's the Nature Line Me Your Aid attack, the You Will Bleed attack, the You Cannot Escape Me attack, and the Minions. We're gonna go through each of them one by one, explain what they do, and then explain how to counter them. Alright, the first mechanic is really easy. It's the Nature Lend Me Your Aid attack. Three mushrooms in the room will begin spewing noxious gas, and if you are caught within this gas, you'll be hit for rapid low hits. It's really good to get out of this gas as soon as possible, and there are a couple ways to do this. First way to do it is just simply walk out of the gas because your run will be disabled. Second way is to use the surge or escape abilities to free yourself as quickly as possible. Alright, here it is. We get covered in gas. All you gotta do is walk, surge, or escape out of that gas. It's actually as simple as that. This is the easiest mechanic in this boss fight. You just avoid the gas, stay out of the gas, and you'll be good to go. Alright, the second attack is the You Will Bleed attack. This is the most important mechanic in the entire boss fight, where Hellware will swing towards you dealing one massive hit that can be upwards of 4,000 damage. Now, if you avoid this properly, this is the reason you can last at this boss for an extremely long time without using any food. Basically, Hellware will go through all four mechanics, one after the other, in the exact same order and will never change, so you will always know when this You Will Bleed attack is coming. To counter this properly, what you're going to want to do is take off your protection prayers and use the resonance ability when he says you will bleed. When Howard says you will bleed, the attack will heal you instead of damaging you, which will heal you a ton of hit points. And you'll be able to heal off this three or even four times per kill, and Howard also does this right towards the start of every kill, so it's a really nice way to start each kill with a lot of hit points. Now, I'd strongly recommend using resonance here, that is going to make or break your trip, but if you cannot use resonance for whatever reason, you've got a couple different ways to avoid this attack. The first one is when Howard goes up on his hind legs, you can walk away from Hellwer, and if you walk to the side, Hellwer's attack will miss. Other than that, you could surge or escape away, and the other options are use the Devotion ability with Melee Prey that will block it entirely, or you could also stack Debilitate and Reflect to reduce the damage to less than 1000. Alright, let's go through this in slow-mo. Basically, most of your kills are going to start this way. After the Mushroom Spew Gas, the second attack is going to be the You Will Bleed. Hellwer's going to say You Will Bleed. You're going to take down your prayers. If you're having trouble with them, you can take them down a little earlier, it doesn't really matter. And then you can use the Resonance ability. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a massive heal instead of damaging you, which is absolutely vital. The second part to the You Will Bleed attack is it will put a bleed on you, as the name would suggest. You don't want to clear the bleed with freedom right away. What you actually want to do is you want to use the revenge ability, and that way every time the bleed hits you, and it's fairly low damage at the start, every time this bleed hits you, what's going to happen is you're actually going to get a revenge stack, which is going to increase your maximum hit by 10%. What this means is that later on in the kill, you can basically take advantage of this and do a lot of damage really quickly to Hellware, even though you're using a shield. So yeah, that might seem complicated, but really it's as simple as take down the prayers, use resonance, and then use revenge if you have it. It's as easy as that, and it might take a little getting used to, but it's not that difficult. Alright, the next mechanic is the You Cannot Escape Me attack. Hellware will go into a frenzy, attacking you quickly and dealing mass damage. This is extremely easy to avoid. If you have the Devotion ability and it's off cooldown, you can use that, it will negate the damage. And the other thing you can do is you can use Reflect to have the damage, and then Debilitate to stack with the Reflect to reduce the damage to almost nothing. So for example, a 2000 hit would be reduced to 1000 from your melee protect, down to 500 from your devotion, and then down to 250 with your reflect. So it really does reduce that damage to make it almost negligible. Alright, this one is extremely easy to avoid. Right at the start there, I use devotion, and now when Howard does the attack, nothing will hit me at all. If you do not have devotion, just do it with reflect and or debilitate. It'll work the exact same way. Now it's important to note that after this attack fires off, use the freedom ability. It's very important that will clear the bleed for the rest of the rotation. Alright, so we've been through three of the four mechanics, and we still haven't used the Rune Halberd yet, what the heck? Well, this is where you use it. Hellware will spawn two wolf minions who both have 3,000 life points each. To avoid them, kill the minions, and that's why the Halberd comes in. Basically, what you want to do is you want to equip your Halberd, use Hurricane, use Quake, and then if you need to, also use Cleave. That will almost every single time take care of the minions in full. Now, the minions don't do much damage at all, but that's not why you need to kill them. You need to kill them because if you're using resonance to heal off the massive You Will Bleed attack, and a minion hits you before the You Will Bleed attack does, basically the minion will hit you like a 200, it'll heal you 200 with the resonance, and then the You Will Bleed will KO you. So you want to make sure that the minions are dead, or you will not be able to heal off that You Will Bleed attack. So that's why it's so important to clear them, and that's why the Halberd is so useful. Now, you might be wondering if you can do this with any two-handed weapon, anything with Hurricane and Quake, and honestly, it's not nearly as good. I tried it out with a Sarah Sword, and it did not go very well at all, so just stick to the longer attack range of the Halberd. Even if it's a Rune Halberd, it is going to be better than a higher tier weapon that does not have that long attack range. So yeah, here's a quick look at that. Hellware will go up, you'll see some white circles, and that means minions are coming. Basically, all you gotta do is you gotta put on your Halberd, and then just simple Hurricane and Quake. That should take care of them, but if it does not, then you can also use the Cleave ability to take care of any remaining hit points. There you go, both minions are dropped. The reason you know they're both dead is because, well, first off, you don't see the minions, the dots are gone, and the other thing is also they only have 3,000 hit points, so if you can add up to 3,000, you'll know for sure that they were defeated. 
And believe it or not, that's actually all of the mechanics and how to counter them properly. If you can do that properly and combine those four mechanics well, you will be just fine to do no food hellward kills or very low food hellward kills, even with lower stat requirements, lower gear, no untradeable potions, none of that stuff, and it will be extremely easy. That being said, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go through a full hellward kill. I'll speed it up a little bit, and we're gonna put together all the pieces, all the mechanics, and just I'll show you guys what it looks like to put everything together and do one complete hellward kill. I'll also throw in any other tips and any other good things to have in mind. So anyway, let's do it. All right, don't forget to pot up, make sure your prayers are up, and yeah, Hellward's gonna spawn. First attack is the mushroom attack, you'll see it right there. Usually it won't hit you, but if it does, you know how to avoid it. And now you're gonna see I'm gonna prepare for the you will bleed, I'm gonna rezo it, and then now I'm gonna stack revenge, and I'm also gonna use reflect. The reason I'm gonna use reflect is because that will minimize and negate the damage from the crazy charge attack that Hellward does, where he runs around like a crazy person and just does mass damage. Now you'll see I use freedom, I clear the bleed, and now minions are about to come. You've already seen this clip, and uh, yeah, hurricane, quake, minions are down. Now I get some mushrooms on me, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk out of the mushrooms, it's as easy as that. Because the minions are dead, I can drop my prayers, and then I can resonance the you will bleed once again. Remember, this is sped up, so if it looks really complicated and really fast paced, that's because, well, it's a little faster than it actually will be. That was me using a devotion so that I block the you cannot escape me attack, and yeah, that's basically a full kill. That's everything you need to know. Obviously, the kill isn't done yet, but that's one full rotation, so as you can see now, minions are coming again. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Now, I actually messed up here, and I thought all the minions were dead, but they actually weren't, but uh, you know what? I risk it for the biscuit here, and I basically use resonance really really late and that way on the last possible tick I'll still be able to get a heal but what I did do is I left my prayers up just to be safe just in case so anyway you'll see I'm stacking up revenge I'm getting revenge stacks to give me increased damage and I'm just continuing to attack I clear the bleeds again and you'll really see it's a lot of the same thing you just do the same thing over and over again minion spawn all I'm gonna do halberd hurricane quake minions are all dropped and now I'm good to get another heal again so even though my hit points are low basically every time this rotation ends I get a massive heal and I know I'm gonna get that heal every single time now quickly it's worth mentioning if you use a defender you will get less heal than if you use a shield so some people will prefer to use a shield you'll get more of a heal and if you're finding that you're running out of hit points then you should definitely be using a shield over a defender I just like the slightly faster kill speeds so anyway as you can see same thing again minions come halberd hurricane quake easy as that minions got dropped so I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna take off my prayers and I'm gonna do a heal again with the you will bleed and that's basically the end of the kill that's everything you need to know and that's everything put together and it's extremely easy I mean I did that kill I'm not using curses I'm not using Using tradable potions I don't have anything like that I don't have any super expensive high tier gear and I did that kill with no food used at all so anyway guys that's one full hell work kill all right, now we're gonna talk about the good stuff, the drops, why you're gonna kill this boss. Well, actually, this boss is really good to kill just to practice your defensive abilities, but other than that, Hellward has an extremely high-priced regular drop table. You can expect to make between 50 and 500k every single kill. Now, you can also get an Elder Wand, a Crest of Saren, those are between 18 and 22 mil. You can also get a Serenic Essence, which is 750k. Now, the last thing is there is a boss pet for Hellward, the Twisted Antelope. This is extremely rare, but you can also get your hands on this, and if it's something that you wanna get, well, Hellward is the only way to get it. So anyway, guys, those are the drops. Let's continue. And that's basically the end of the guide. We started with how to gear, we went through every single mechanic, and then we put them all together, we wrapped it up with the drops, and that's everything you need to know about how to go and get yourself some kills. So thank you all so much for watching, and as always, if you have any questions at all, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Now, last thing before I get going, if you want to check out my new series, The Road to Max Cash Loot Tab, you can click on screen or look in the description below. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Have a great one, and peace out.